Hi all and welcome back. In our previous video, we have learned about partially applied functions that enables you to write function without providing all the parameters. In this video, we are going to consider another concept, currying, on the similar lines. We will again try to break down our function to provide one value at a time. So let us first start coding and then we'll talk about it. Let me open my REPL or Scala shell. Consider the small function literal add2. There is nothing new in it. It takes an input parameter and add 2 to it. Let us try to execute it and it works fine. Now let us declare a method sum that returns add2 function. So if I call our method sum and assign it to a val add2 then add2 should behave in the same way as it was behaving earlier. But I feel calling a method and assigning it to a val is bit redundant. We call method sum by providing the input parameter and it should give us back the same result. And indeed, we got the same output back. Now let us enhance our sum method a little bit more. Instead of adding two every time to the input, I think sum method should add the number that we provide to it. So I will change the method definition to accept a parameter that would be added to another number. Let us try to execute our new sum method and it works fine. Or I can also break my sum into two steps now. First is add two. And next is providing um, another number that would be added to give me the final result. We'll stop here and analyze the code back again. Here, the first call to sum has returned us a functional literal that would add two to the input parameter that we are going to supply to it. We have assigned that functional literal to a val add two. And in the second statement, we have executed add two function literal to calculate the final result. So if you carefully think about it, what have we achieved here? We have split our method in such a way that we don't have to provide all the arguments at the same time. I can provide these arguments whenever they are available. This transformation is called currying. It has many advantages. Let us learn a little bit more about currying and then we will come back to our code Currying is named after Haskell Curry, an American mathematician. He is known for his work in combinatory logic. Currying is a means of transforming a function that takes more than one argument into a chain of calls to functions, each of which takes a single argument. In Scala, we have seen how sum of type int, comma int is converted to a chain of method calls that takes single int input at a time. Now before we proceed further, I want to make clear that the sum example I have just illustrated is not exactly related to currying. It was an illustration of how currying process exactly works in background and help us to grasp the concept of currying. Let us code an example using Scala currying. So we have seen earlier how we write a function and achieve currying. So the question is that, do we need to think about various functions that we need to write to achieve currying? The answer is no. We just need to break our input parameters in order of calls, write the method implementation like any other me regular method, and Scala would achieve currying for us. Let us rewrite our sum in curried Scala form. So. I'll declare a method sum curried that takes in two input parameters num1 and num2 and now I will add these two input parameters. Let us try and execute our new sum curried and indeed we get back the same output.
Let us have a look at another example. Again, we'll try to create final price calculator for a shop. I will declare a new method final price that will take in three current parameters that is VAT rate, service charge rate and product price. The method will then add VAT and service charge to the product price to calculate the final price. Let us try to execute our method by providing all three uh, parameters and indeed it works fine. Now if you think about it, VAT and service charge does not change so often and are pretty much constant. It is not appropriate to ask shopkeeper to provide VAT and service charge every time. So let us use currying to split our method. I'll declare a new val VAT applied and I will provide the value of VAT to final price method and assign it to VAT applied. Notice how I have used placeholder syntax to inform Scala that I will provide rest of the arguments later. Next, I will provide service charge to VAT applied well and I will leave price to be provided by shopkeeper whenever they need it. Let us test our service charge applied function to calculate the final price of the product. Let us try few inputs. And here is another one. Again, we have reduced our method that accepts three parameter to accept one parameter when it is available. You can also convert all your existing method to curry methods. Consider this new method reduction that applies discount to the product price. It accepts two input parameter. One is discount and another one is cost of the product. Now because I have written this method before I have learned currying, so you can see the implementation like any other regular method. Now in order to curry this method, we need to convert we need to first convert it to function using placeholder syntax and then we can con we can convert it to currying. Now we can set a discount for all the product price in the shop. Let us apply a discount of 30% on all the products. And next we can calculate reduced price for different products. Let us try a couple of inputs. And indeed we have get our reduced price. So that was all about currying in Scala. I have seen uh, I have seen it a lot in my production code. It is always good to understand how these things works. Hope you you are enjoying Scala. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Please post your comments and suggestions.